a victory that he will discuss the two-time champion here, Jim Courier. Well, Rafa, last couple of years has been a little bit difficult for you physically at times. You, you've missed a couple of majors. You haven't made it to the semis, but you're back, and I think we know how much it means to you. You went to your knees there. Were there times when you doubted that you might make it back to the semifinals? <laughs> I think uh, I am not a very arrogant person, so I always have doubts. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's uh, it's normal now when when. Even when I was winning a lot, I, I had doubts, so you can imagine that I have more when, when I am not, no? so and when I have an injuries. But, uh, but that's, uh, that's good, I think, no? because uh, when you have doubts, you, you, you feel ready to work more. You know how tough is uh, all the victories, and uh, I, I think I had a, a great career, but at the same time, I had a, a lot of uh, tough moments, no? so uh, that uh, makes me... Uh, enjoy even more the, the good moments that I'm having today, especially here in this unbelievable cup. And it wasn't easy. It was not easy tonight. Milos played so well, especially in the second set. How did you save those six set points? How did you win that second set? As always, I don't know, but... Uh... <laughs> But uh, just fighting, no, I'm believing that uh, just don't try to win the next point. That's, that's the only way, and that's the way that I, I work at all my career and, uh, and work at no. So today uh, against a very, very difficult opponent, no, he beat me uh, two weeks ago in, in Brisbane in a tough match. So I know I, I decided to go a little bit more inside the court on the return tonight, and then uh, I know that uh, going to be a tough moment during the match, no, with a player like him that he, he has. Uh, one of the top two serves in the in the tour, and then uh, then he's able to play so aggressive on the tour. No? So I, I needed to be very focused, very concentrated with my serve. I think I did, and uh, accept all the the difficulties that the match uh, can can happen. Yeah. Well, you did it so well. There's more tennis ahead of you, and it doesn't get easier. Grigor Dimitrov, who won in Brisbane, who's playing so beautifully this season, will pose a challenge. Your thoughts on taking on Grigor in, in a match of this much importance? Well, Grigor is a, is a great player now. I think, uh, you know, um, everybody thought that uh, he's going to be a, a very top, top player before than, than, than today. And uh, finally, he, he started the season unbelievable. Now he's playing so, so good. So just congratulate him because I know last year was a tough year for him. And when, when you are coming back that strong, you know, that uh, that's gives you even more power now. So he's very confident. He's playing very well. And I know going to be a... I'm going to have a, a very tough match. I always expect to keep fighting for every ball, keep playing uh, well, and I, I know I have to play my best tennis if I want to have any chance. Well, that's one semifinal. The other semifinal is also set, and uh, it's a Swiss matchup. There's a guy named Stan Wawrinka and someone you know a little bit named Roger Federer. I'd love to just get your thoughts on that matchup tomorrow night. Will you watch? You know, what do you think? Well, I, I love the sport <laughs> more than anything. No? So uh, if you don't want to watch this match, you don't like a lot of the sport. No? So <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I think it's amazing. No? Uh, after having a, a tough injury for, for so many months, uh, have Roger back in the semifinals again on, on a Grand Slam here in the first of the season, that, that makes it even tougher for him. So uh, that's, uh, that's great, I think, great, right? especially for him, but especially for, for all the people who love tennis. No? And uh, just uh, congratulate him for, uh, for a great effort, and I wish the best of luck for both of them, Stan and, uh, and Roger, and we hope to see a great match. Well, let's all congratulate Rafael Nadal, who is back in the semifinals and doing it with style. Well, he's certainly back in a big way. Rafael Nadal has started 2017 with a bang. Progressed magnificently right on through to the semi finals where he's looked irresistible today. He was far too good for Milos Raonic.